So the Hilux needs a service. Uh, we can't get it serviced in Ljubljana. It's, uh, we're in Slovenia at the moment. It's, uh, Croatia's out as well. So we're six hours from Sarajevo. So we're going to phone them. We phoned them. They gave us a number. Phoned this number. And then I got through again. And it was basically, yeah, bring the car Friday. <laughs> and I'm like, do you not want my name or anything? Like no, no, just bring the car Friday. So uh, so we're off to Sarajevo <laughs> maybe for a service. It's only a six hour drive. No, but like, who are you? So, happy days, let's get it done. These are the Rastak Falls in Croatia. And we're sort of bypassing through Croatia, we won't be staying here, we're off to Bosnia. Croatia doesn't really suit our budget. It's quite expensive and you can't whale park, so we'll be moving swiftly through. But this is lovely to see. And this is Eureka Korana. And this is a swimming pool in a river. <laughs> water, water everywhere. A little sneak peek of what's over there. Wow. Pretty impressive wee place, I have to say. Look at the light on that. Lovely. I'm gonna have to find some creation music. We travelled a little upstream from the big one. There's another one. So much water. I wonder where it all comes from. So, we're actually in Zagreb. I uh, managed to find a printer after one of the scooters broke down. We've had to change it at Decathlon to get a new one. And uh, we've basically got four copies of the insurance documents. Should any officials at any borders want a copy. So that's uh, always a good handy tip to have a paper copy with you. Back to the truck. So we are now leaving the Schengen. This is the Bosnian border. It's going to Bosnia and Herzegovina. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not going to uh, film any of it, obviously, because it's a border, but uh, I'm sure it'll be pretty straightforward, hopefully. Yeah, and a little bit closer. Lots of people wandering around. Like these two guys there, there'll be a case of beer, whatever's in it. But yeah. Lots of people just walking across the border. Strange one. Welcome to Bosnia. And we're straight into a little town by the looks of it. Uh, I think we're going to have to find our SIM cards somewhere. So, so just filled up. Uh, 41 litres, 107 Bosnian notes, which is very cheap. It works out about £1.12 a litre here, so incredibly happy with that. Stopped at the side of the road for a little break. 
you know, you did the landscape uh, in Bosnia. Very like Croatia and Slovenia in the trees. This is the first real area we've come into that's planed. Uh, sort of like trees have been cleared. So the old shepherd with his flock. But yeah. The sun is shining. It could be worse. So this is us entering Sarajevo. We're on our way to Toyota to get a service. Uh, obviously everyone's heard lots about this place. You know, it's a recent war. And Sarajevo was under siege for a couple of years. And so it's going to be an interesting place to explore. Can't get it, I don't know. Could have been in there. Welcome to downtown Sarajevo. We are on our way to get the car serviced. So, uh, yeah, traffic's been good. It's 9.30 in the morning. It's uh, already 28 degrees, so very warm, as you can tell. Have a look at that sky. Yeah, we're on our ways. So, Toyota Banjo have been really good. Uh, truck's been serviced in under two hours, which is good. Uh, and we're ready to rock and roll. It cost 610km, which is about £260. And I've given us some extra ad blue, because it went all thin. So, yeah. Very happy. Ready to rock and roll. Three big overland vehicles over there from Germany. Beside our little truck with no home on it. So we are at the Olympic bobsled track. Sarajevo hosted the Winter Olympics in 84, I believe. So next stop, the abandoned bobsled. Here we go. The abandoned bobsled. It was abandoned indeed. This is uh, going to be interesting. So this is a wall here. This is the start of the luge, which is a different one altogether. So you get the bobsled and the luge running together. I'll have to check this out. Top of the world. That, people, is Sarajevo. And the newly restored cable car. It sounds like I'm out of breath. It's because we never got the cable car. We walked up and over there, that's the start of the bobsled one, which is next. So this is a tunnel of hope. And uh, yeah, they are real bullet holes. This whole place was levelled during the war. It's nice to see it all been built up. This whole site was preserved by one family. Uh, no one saw it as really being important. Uh, but the family whose house it started at the back of, these guys are way up there preserved it and it's now in the hands of the proper Bosnian government as a 
tourist attraction and it's a stark reminder of what we can do to one another and how people always find a way to survive. This poster over here sort of shows you where the Serbian forces were. The whole town was under siege and the tunnel was here. And it just gave them that link that they needed from the airport back into the city. 1,425 days under siege, 11,541 killed. That's enough, isn't it? Let's move on to something cheerier. So we're in downtown Sarajevo today. Going to get around the old market and stuff like that. But first, we've got to loop the loop in this bridge. Very funky little bridge. I like it. have these in Sarajevo and they're a sign of where people fell during the conflict uh, and they're all throughout the city uh, so yeah another stark reminder of what went on here 20 years ago but it's busy now and there's lots of people and we're on our way to the old market which we drove past earlier on and looks heaving with people so and it's raining as well, which is great, because it was 36 degrees yesterday. It's midday! This was built in the 18th century, this wooden fountain in the Ottoman style. So, doing rather well to still be here. Plenty of pigeons, especially on the roofs. So it was on this spot, the 28th of June 1914. Gavrilo Prince assassinated the heir to the Austrian-Hungarian throne, Franz Ferdinand and his wife, Sofia. Which, of course, kicked off World War I. He was a bit of a plonker, wasn't he? So Franz Ferdinand was actually assassinated just here at the northern end of the bridge and uh, yeah that led to World War One, hundreds of millions dead. Brilliant. So this bridge was actually built in the 16th century. So it's a good 400 years old. Well, and well to stand the test of time. to prayer. Quite soothing.
So we're in Kloppa, Bosnian's number one restaurant apparently. And uh, to be fair, it's a busy, busy place. Let's see where the food turned up. We had a wee bit of rubbish out, sort of filming our food. But there you go, this is awesome. But we dug in right away because it looked fantastic. And I can assume no dogs with guns.